Could you just introduce yourself first of all? Uh, my name is Aaron. I'm from Australia, but uh, currently living in Spain. So um, I've actually made the trek from Europe rather than Australia this time. Brilliant. And what package did you come on? I got on the 14-day well wellness package, um, which was really nice. Had a few massages in town, as well as one-on-one -on -one training, which was really excellent. I utilised that. Um, which helped with my technique and it helped me with my training. So I noticed that when I first started training, I wasn't doing things right, but they were there to assist uh, at the beginning because when you don't kick correctly, <laughs> it actually hurts. So, but when you start to learn how to kick properly, it doesn't hurt as much. So, really good. And how did you find the Mai Tai trainers and, and the training in general? Great. I, uh, I really enjoyed some of their characters. They're funny guys. <laughs> They're uh, funny to talk with. The broken English, you start to learn a new type of English in some ways. So, um, but they got really personal as well. Even in the group sessions, they would come to you as an individual and sort of help you with your technique. They didn't just sort of let you make mistakes. They wanted to help you to improve your, your own skills. Uh, and then even on the one-on-one, -on -one, it was just even better. It just sort of had that, um, you just had that feel that they were there for you and wanted to make you get better and better. And did you have a few one-on-ones? I just, did, yeah. I had one and I thoroughly enjoyed it with Bay and he was fantastic. In the end we became Facebook friends and uh, <laughs> we still uh, do a bit of communication now. So it's nice to see his videos and his training and how his development is going. So I, I do watch a few of his videos and how he's going. Do you think you will continue with it if you can once you leave with the training? Um, I don't know that it's something that I will do. I will certainly keep going with the fitness aspect. Um, I just don't have the capability all the time with my current job um, to do the Muay Thai, but certainly keep up the fitness, the eating and the gym going forward. And Dara asked, how did you find the yoga? <laughs> yoga? Uh, I actually didn't do a lot of yoga. That was because I listened to my body in some senses. I, I like to train hard, but I need to rest a lot as well. Mm -hmm. I know the yoga is a sense of relaxation as well as recovery. But there were times where I just couldn't do the sessions because I trained so hard in the morning that I needed that rest. But when I did do the yoga, there was a couple of sessions we did at night which were quite relaxing and enjoyable. I just felt it was exactly what I needed. I came here for a break and meditation uh, and relaxation and I got that when I was doing the yoga sessions. And you said you made use of the massages and did you go on any of the trips and things as well? I did. I utilized the massages. I used all six of them, the ones that I had. <laughs> and then I did the Buddha run, I did the monkey feeding and some temples, which was fantastic to see. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to Thailand before, so it was something that I'd sort of seen before, but just slightly different. So uh, there were some activities I didn't go and see because I'd already seen some of those activities before, mm -hmm. which gave me an opportunity to rest even more. I think the key to this is understanding and listening to your body and not doing too much, but doing enough at the same time. And what would you say you would kind of take away from the experience then, if there was anything? Wow. <laughs> that I can push myself a lot harder okay. than what I currently do in my day-to-day -day life. Um, definitely the two-hour sessions with the Muay Thai trainers in the morning and if you could do in the afternoon or vice versa, if you missed the morning into the afternoon, you really feel a sense that I was pushing myself a lot harder than when I'm on my own in a gym or anywhere else. So mm. I really found that, and that's what I actually came for, to find out how much I could push myself. And I really did, I found out how much I can push myself, especially in this heat. Uh, yeah. It was really great. You sweat a lot, you drink a lot of fluids, and that's important too to recover, as part of your recovery is to drink a lot of fluids. So you learn a lot of those things as well. And what do you plan to do now? I plan to go to Bangkok, <laughs> have a few days off, uh, rest up, and then head back home. Um, in less than a week so that's the plan to rest great thank you very much Aaron it's lovely to have you thank you thank, thank you, you so much